right, what's good, Post Family? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Thesis. Today's video, I'm extremely excited to go over because this one was actually a request, right? And it's pertaining to Cubase, its workflow, and why I think it's the best dog when it comes to being in music production. We're going to have the talk and the debate. Let me show you guys exactly why I think this is one of the top ones, and it is slept on. You guys keep it locked. Stay tuned. I started off with Hip Hop EJ, then I graduated to uh, Acid Music. It was either Acid Music or Acid Pro. And then once I went to that, um, I also graduated from that to Reason, right? Within that time frame, I was liking what I was producing, but I wasn't getting the uh, user friendliness of the workflow that I really, really wanted, right? Like, you know, Reason has the racks and all that good stuff, but I had uh, produced in Logic Pro before it was on Apple. I did it when it was on Windows. I like how that looked. Once I saw Studio One, I gave Studio One a feel, and it's actually good, but the computer I had at the time was giving me issues with Studio One. You got Studio One, you gotta have a good computer. You know, through it all, I came across Cubase, and I have been sold ever since. So I've been using it since Cubase 7, and there are a lot of things inside of Cubase that you guys do not know that can make your, you know, workflow extremely easy. I'm doing this video to show you guys a couple of quick things to, you know, give my justice to claim. So of course my workflow and my work set is with native instruments. And as you see, I have machine up and I'm going to utilize machine with the complete control MK3 S21 key. And I'm gonna show you guys how I go back and forth, right? One of the reasons why Cubase is super, super dope is because I'm using machine as a VST plugin, as opposed to standalone. Well, for one, Machine is actually a groove box. It's not a DAW. So when it comes to mixing, when it comes to mastering, you can do but so much in it, right? So what I like to do is I like to bring up machine for the sake of the video. I'm gonna just load up this sound. A lot of times what I'll do is I will go get a sound and then I'll start playing with it. Now, of course, you can manipulate the sounds and do all that stuff inside of machine. But you see these two little bad boys right here? I love this because I like to be able to take the MIDI. And let's say, for instance, if I take the MIDI from here and then put it on another sound, I'll have the MIDI the way it's played from that sound. That is a cheat code. That is a super cheat code. Because let's say, for instance, um, I don't know how to play keys, right? And I just want that MIDI from that actual waveform. I can be able to do that. And that's awesome. The other one is being able to just drag the wave over and then being able to manipulate the sound. So case in point, if I wanted to uh, drag over this wave, right? So I'm gonna drag this wave over and then it'll just input it like that. Then I can shift it over. A quick key to be able to bring up the mixer is F3. So then I would hit F3 and let's move this out of the way for a second. Then I have that group right there to be able to control it. Now, huge, huge button that is uh, neglected is the actual transpose button. You can use this button and then still change the sound of it without actually adding any artifacts to it, right? So let's say for instance, I'll go and I'll just transpose this down to two. And let's say for instance, I'm trying to learn the, the way it's played, the way, you know, the keys come across and I wanna play it a different way on here, then that way I can do that and still keep the same rhythm, but it doesn't change with sounds. Another one is uh, this button right here, which is a super, super sweet key, which is aligning your beats while you're actually playing. And I can go and just do this, play it, and then preview at the same time. And for some odd reason, I don't know why I heard, uh, first of all, shout out to Bolo. I heard that he said a lot of people, you know, have DAWs where the preview don't sync to the actual DAW while you're playing it. Uh, very, very interesting in hearing that, you know. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and let's just add a drum to it. And let me just pick one of my favorite groups. I don't want the sounds to clash. So because I have this one already played out, I'll usually go ahead and mute it like this. Now on my MK3, I'll go ahead and hit play. And 
because I like that, now I'm gonna go ahead and record that in. I'm using my Control MK3, and I'm also using my Machine MK3 at the same time, and let's go ahead and record. So you can then, you know, just drag it over or then you can drag and mute each individual sound and then mix while you're doing it. Again, you know, when it comes to hip hop, when it comes to R&B, you know, things like that, I know a lot of times Cubase does not get the love that it's supposed to get. But if you guys are looking for a great DAW, if you're looking for something that's dependable, something that doesn't do a whole bunch of crashes, that has great scripts, that does, you know, third party VSTs without a problem, Cubase is definitely one of them, right? Cubase will give you that feel that you need in order to be quick when it comes to producing and it makes it flawless as far as sound when it comes to a DAW. And hopefully this expand on why I feel like Cubase is the best when it comes to hip hop production. If you guys are feeling this, please make sure that you give it a like, comment, and if you haven't already, which I understand why, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. And I appreciate all the support. I love the fact that you actually been going back to the old videos too and checking them out. But um, greatly appreciate you guys, and hopefully, like I said, this has helped out in my reason as to why I feel like Cubase is the best when it comes to music production. But another one done, another one in the books. You guys already know who it is. It's your boy, Thesis. Peace.